Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you an updated how I use Notion to stay organized for school, extracurriculars, and YouTube. If you end up using these, I hope it's helpful, and feel free to share a picture on your Instagram story and tag me, and I will be sure to repost it. Anyways, thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get started with a tour of my setup. So this is how it looks like. I keep all of my pages within the home page and the theme that I decided to go with this year is a matcha slash forest green. Both my icon and cover photo gif is from Pinterest along with all of the other photos you see in this setup. First thing I've added on this page is a bookmark bar. This makes it super convenient to access all of my frequently visited pages including my identity homepage, various learning platforms, email address, and a Pomodoro timer. Below that I've embedded an audio of a full hour of lo-fi music. Basically, I didn't feel like putting in a Spotify playlist, it just took up too much space and didn't look too great, so this works well. It serves as both study music and a full hour timer. Now I continue to use my three column setup, so starting with the first column on the left, I just have a picture to kind of set the mood with a song uploaded in the same way as the previous. The song embedded is Run To You by Island. It's literally one of my favorites and listening to it makes me want to be productive, so for motivation purposes, it works perfectly. In the middle column, I have my university and social media page, followed by another photo. These two are my most used pages ever, and they each have a million other pages inside of them, which we'll get into. So let's start with university. Once you click in here, you'll see some sub pages, but first we'll look at the calendar. This is where I'll keep track of my major university deadlines, such as when classes begin, tuition due dates, term tests, and final exam dates. Onto the first subpage called second year, which currently has the six courses that I'll be taking in the fall semester. I've set the icon of each subpage to be a solid color as a way to establish a color scheme for my courses, which is referenced throughout my setup. As you can see, anatomy and physiology, which translates to the course code health side 2F03, has a purple cover and tag in the schedule. And within the timetable, I also specify whether it is a tutorial with a T, lab with an L, and and lecture with an LT. Now I'll show you one of my revised course templates with my organic chemistry page set up. As always, I start with a callout box highlighting my lecture and tutorial time for this course. Then I've attached the syllabus and class schedule as a PDF document as well as an embed. Having the embed makes it super easy to scroll through and look for information on either of these documents. Then following that, I have the course textbook, extra resources, and separate page for my midterm and exam planning. Then finally, I have a calendar for keeping track of the weeks and my detailed to-dos for this course. So first, I have something that marks the different weeks, and inside is where I store all of my weekly overviews and PowerPoint slides. Then I've marked the weekly lecture, tutorial, and quiz deadline, but I'll definitely be adding more to this, especially minor to-dos, as the school year starts up. And I'll be adopting pretty much the same setup for all of my other courses once the course content becomes available. All right, back to the university page and going into extracurriculars. Before I go into the individual pages, below I have a table titled Current Involvements, which basically outlines the initiatives that I'm currently part of, categorized by university club, research, organizations, and individual activities. In the next column, I've specified the organization name, my role, and the weekly time commitment. This is useful for me to keep track of what I'm doing outside of school and to make sure that I'm not over committing. Back to the different pages above in the one titled Research Assistant. It has some information and contacts for reaching out to researchers as well as ongoing studies that I'm helping with. For example, in one of these I have more pages separating my application, forms and certifications, and study protocols. Onto my club slash job and research page, this is basically my application and interest tracker. On the very top, I have some links to different Google Docs pages for working resumes, interview question compilations, and email templates. Then I have my application table with organizations, followed by the position I've applied to, the written application, initial and secondary deadline, and results. I also have a comment section for jotting down any notes, especially if I know the reason why I didn't get a certain position. And below that, I have a separate table for interested initiatives noted by their name and a link to their website. And as for all the previous involvements page, it's currently a little 
little bit unorganized, but it attempts to keep track of all of my involvements from before and the number of hours I've committed to it. And that's pretty much it for extracurriculars. Now, textbooks is where I stored PDFs of books for current or future courses. Pre-uni task, just like the name, it outlines certain things that I want to get done before the start of a new school year. And same idea with my second year goals page. The only other one I'll go into in a little bit more detail is my course selection page, where I keep a table for all of my classes I've taken and are planning to take, as well as whether or not it's a prerequisite for any professional or graduate school. And that is pretty much it for university. On to social media, where I plan my YouTube and Instagram content. First thing, I have a page with my rate card, so how much I charge for different types of ad integrations and some payment processing information, followed by separate pages of my video plan and scripts organized by month and a toggle list. Below, I've set up a board to keep track of what I'm currently working on for different videos and brands, followed by a general content plan in a calendar format, which outlines my upload dates, video submission requirements, meetings with brands, delivery dates for products, and all that fun stuff. And moving on to the final column, under the photo, I first have this page titled Personal Files, and inside it has separate pages concerning finance, workout, recipe book, and habit tracker. I don't use any of these pages consistently, it's more just for storing information that I come across, so nothing is really set up here. The page at the bottom is for an online course that I'm currently taking, which is pretty much organized in the same way as my organic chemistry page. And onto the final page, my master to-do list, which is something new that I'm implementing this year. So my idea with this is to fill it out at the start of each week as a running to-do list, which I will then delegate tasks to different days of the week using my physical planner. Now I also have here a weekly planner template for those of you who are interested in digital planning using Notion. So let's talk about this table I've created. The columns that I have are checkbox, task name, course, type of work, ET, which stands for estimated time, ideal deadline, so basically basically my personal deadline, followed by an actual deadline, and brief notes. So let's actually fill one out together. Let's say I want to put down read organic chemistry syllabus as a to-do, and this is for Chem 2E03, which is my organic chem class. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, these colors match with the previous course setup page. The type will put it as an assignment for now, even though it's really not. Now let's say we want to check it off, and when you do, it automatically goes away because I've added a filter to do that. However, I also added a different view to look at the tasks that we've done for the sake of satisfaction and accomplishment. And for that view, it is filtered so that it only shows checked tasks. I'm also going to add a separate view for each of my courses. So you can do this by clicking add view, then table, and of course type in your name. Then we go into filter, add a filter, and select where course contains one of the tags for your courses. So for me, I'm going to put music to MT3. And there you have it, a view that filters only the to-dos associated with the course you've chosen, so in this case, music to MT3. And the same has been done for this other table, except it only has a need to do and done view, and no other specific views. Also, both tables have been ordered in ascending order of deadline for the purpose of prioritizing. And that is it for my master to-do list, as well as my notion setup slash tour. And here are the templates in a separate page and the link to sign up for Notion as well as to access and duplicate this template can be found in the description and pinned comments below. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out more of my content. And all of my social media will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!